Hello and welcome back to the first video of 2024 and we are starting off this year with a very exciting song and that is the song Kool-Aid by Bring Me The Horizon. Oh yeah! When I saw this was being advertised or being pushed out a couple of days ago, I thought, what a random song name. They've been doing everything really well recently. Loved all the singles that have been coming out. Still no news on an album, but um, at this point I've kind of like given up and I'm just kind of like going with the flow and just seeing what they kind of like bring out. Recently announced that Jordan is not in the band anymore, who did a lot of the kind of like production side of things. This is probably a song that they worked on before he left, but um, it'll be interesting to see what direction they kind of like go in in the future. But for now, we're just gonna sit back and react to this song and see what Bring the Horizon are sounding like in 2024. It's a, just a lyric video, it's not a music video, but uh, I'm sure it's gonna be good regardless. So here we go. Like in that crash. Very bassy, very low at the moment. We're gonna drop into like a rhythm thing. Okay. Oh, Marilyn Manson-esque as well, a little bit. The screaming, the vocals. Obviously still bring me though. Even the charts in the background are quite mad to me. I feel really weird, like the lyrics are literally the whole screen. <laughs> so I feel like these, and I'm sitting very close to my laptop today for some reason, don't know why. But yeah, like it's all full caps. It's almost like taking up my whole vision here, looking at this and it's, it's quite intimidating. The vocals are sounding good. I can hear the guitar in the background. It's not as identifiable as other songs and other riffs they've done in their previous singles. Let's see what the chorus is gonna be like. Drink the Kool-Aid by the Drink the Kool-Aid by the Giant, okay. Suffer your fate, come here and give me a hug, okay. Ooh. When was the last time we heard vocals like this? This is very different to what they brought out already. Loving the charting in the free chorus, that's cool. I know there's some advertising, marketing quote or something about drinking the Kool-Aid, but I, or it's a meme or something, and I can't remember exactly like what it is in detail. Clearly they're kind of like going off the basis of that when they're singing that in the actual chorus. Otherwise it's like a completely random thing to put in. So there's definitely like a, a meta behind that. Really interesting these vocals, like they're, they're a lot more really old Bring Me The Horizon. Like I wouldn't say the whole music itself is back to like the deathcore roots or anything like that, but the vocals are a lot more raw and rough and heavy, 100%. I don't think we've had any clean singing in this. Even in the chorus when he's, he's singing about Kool-Aid, uh, it's still quite like, raspy, it's still quite like wretched in a way. I just stuff your face, come give me a hug, it's such a random thing. Like it's so weird the lyrics, isn't it? Okay, now we're getting a little bit more like of guitar. It's standing out here. What are we gonna get though? Some real filled out vocals there. Loving the chart in there as well, like hyping up. Drums are cool. Very freshy. This is the guitar I'm liking. I feel like it's got layers to it as well. Yeah, see, there we go. Ooh. I love that noise, real high. Oh, 
Oh my god, that was like, that is like an old school Bring Me solo as well. I was not expecting that. I can't remember the last time they did like a solo like that. They've had a lot of, I think they've done something similar, but with like other styles and genres like put in as well. Like obviously like the hyper pop um, has been now included, but that just felt like I was listening to one of the old, I can't even tell you what song it's been so, many, so long and how many albums they've released. That was nice, nice little touch, I like that. Give me a hug! <laughs> so I really like the whole. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Eighteen seconds left. Are we going to build on this? This was going into some shit like that. <laughs> some shit like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that some shit. <laughs> that was a like, nice little kind of like melody like singing there at the end. Very good. I enjoyed that. I think the drums throughout was really cool. Like really kind of like rolled the song on. They just really stood out to me a lot more than kind of like the guitar did. But like two sets of breakdowns maybe or maybe like a bridge, two breakdowns, heavy outro, however you want to see it. I think that song was like a good up and down. It was constantly changing, constantly different things were happening. And yeah, that was cool. I think it was definitely, I don't know if it was the heaviest single that they brought out. Amen is still probably the heaviest song they've released uh, out of all these singles. But this was just kind of like, it just felt like a lot more old school Bring Me. I don't care about albums now. Just keep releasing singles every couple of months and I'll be happy. As I said about the album, who knows when, but um, I'm sure they'll just drop it on us by surprise one day and uh, everyone's going to rush to listen to it. But yeah, very cool. Really enjoyed that one. Uh, great way to start off the year. But uh, let me know what you thought about this down below. Um, where does it sit with all the other singles they've released? Is this a good start of 2024? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you the next one real soon. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye. No way. So um, yeah, this is this is really cool. It's I don't know if it's like the quality of my like video or not, but like the, the, it's not coming off. Actually, I'm going to ignore that.